Hello everyone. Welcome to our video on common colloquial expressions in everyday English. If you're learning English or looking to understand more about informal language used in daily English conversations, you've come to the right place. Colloquial expressions are the fun and colorful phrases that native speakers use in casual conversations. They can add flavor to your language skills and help you connect better with English speakers. In this video, we'll explore a variety of colloquial expressions, and I'll break them down into simple language so you can understand them easily. Plus, we'll provide you with plenty of examples to see how they're used in context. We'll cover expressions like raining cats and dogs, bite the bullet, get the ball rolling, and many more. I'll explain what each expression means and share three examples for each one. So, whether you're a beginner or looking to add some flair to your English skills, stick around because we're about to dive into the exciting world of colloquial English. Let's get started and have some fun with these expressions. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more language learning tips. Now, let's jump right in. A piece of cake. Meaning, something very easy to do or accomplish. Examples 1. Coloring with crayons is a piece of cake. It's not hard at all. 2. Guessing your favorite ice cream flavor is a piece of cake, I know it's chocolate. 3. Tying your shoes might seem tough at first, but soon it'll be a piece of cake. Hang in there. Meaning, encouragement to persevere or endure a difficult situation. Examples 1. When you miss your mom, and she's at work, she says, hang in there, I'll be home soon. 2. If you're trying to build a tall tower with blocks and it keeps falling, dad says, hang in there, you'll figure it out. 3. During a scary thunderstorm, if you're scared, your friend might say, just hang in there, it'll be over soon. Hit the hay. Meaning, to go to bed or sleep. Examples 1. When it's bedtime, your grandma might say, time to hit the hay and have sweet dreams. 2. After a fun day playing at the park, you feel really tired and want to hit the hay. 3. When you see that it's really late at night, you can tell your sister, let's hit the hay and sleep like bears. Bite the bullet. Meaning, to face a difficult or unpleasant situation with courage. Examples 1. When you have to get a shot at the doctors, you have to bite the bullet and be brave. 2. Sometimes, you have to bite the bullet and do your homework even if you'd rather play. 3. If you're nervous about speaking in front of the class, take a deep breath and bite the bullet. Break a leg. Meaning, a way to wish someone good luck, especially before a performance or event. Examples 1. Before your school play, your teacher might say, break a leg, to wish you good luck. 2. When your friend is going for a big soccer game, you can tell them, break a leg out there. 3. Singers often hear, break a leg, before going on stage for a concert. Keep your cool. Meaning, to stay calm and composed in a stressful situation. Examples 1. If someone teases you, it's important to keep your cool and not get upset. 2. During a game, even if your team is losing, it's best to keep your cool and stay focused. 3. When you make a mistake, try to keep your cool and fix it calmly. Cut to the chase. Meaning, get to the main point or skip the unnecessary details. Examples 1. When you're telling a story, don't add too many details, just cut to the chase and tell the exciting part. 2. If you're in a hurry to find a missing toy, ask your brother to cut to the chase and tell you where he last saw it. 3. When you're talking about your favorite movie, cut to the chase and tell me what happens at the end. Chill out. Meaning, to relax or calm down. Examples 1. On a hot summer day, 
it's nice to chill out in the shade with a cold drink. 2. If your friend is getting too excited, you can say, hey, just chill out, everything's okay. 3. When you're stressed from school, take a break and chill out for a while. Hangry. Meaning, a combination of hungry and angry used to describe the irritability that can arise when someone is hungry. Examples. 1. When you're hangry, it means you're grumpy because you haven't eaten for a while. 2. I get hangry when I miss lunch, and then I feel much better after having a sandwich. 3. If your little sister is acting upset, ask her if she's hangry and needs a snack. FOMO, fear of missing out. Meaning, the feeling of anxiety or unease that you're missing out on something exciting or interesting. Examples. 1. I couldn't skip the party, I had serious FOMO. 2. If you see pictures of a fun party on social media and feel sad, it's probably because of FOMO. 3. You don't have to worry about FOMO if you have a great time doing something you love. No biggie. Meaning, informal way to say something is not a problem or not a big deal. Examples. 1. Thanks for helping me out. No biggie, happy to help. 2. When your friend apologizes for being late, you can tell them, no biggie, we all get stuck in traffic sometimes. 3. Forgetting your homework at home is no biggie, just remember it next time. Freak out. Meaning, to become extremely anxious or upset. Examples. 1. I totally freaked out when I realized I lost my wallet. 2. When the power goes out during a storm, it's normal to freak out a little, but it'll come back on. 3. Don't freak out if you can't find your favorite toy, it's probably just hiding somewhere. Piece of work. Meaning, a term used to describe someone who is difficult or has a challenging personality. Examples. 1. She's a real piece of work, isn't she? 2. Sometimes, people at school can be a piece of work when they're not being very nice. 3. Even though your little sister is a piece of work sometimes, she can also be really funny and sweet. Up the ante. Meaning, to increase the level of something, often in terms of risk or effort. Examples. 1. In a game of cards, if you want to make it more exciting, you can up the ante by betting more chips. 2. To up the ante for your school project, you can add colorful pictures and interesting facts. 3. When you want to up the ante on your cooking, try adding new spices and flavors to your favorite dish. Behind the eight ball. Meaning, in a difficult or challenging situation. Examples. 1. I'm really behind the eight ball with this project. 2. When you're running late for the school bus, you're behind the eight ball and need to hurry. 3. If you haven't started studying for a big test the night before, you're definitely behind the eight ball, but you can still do your best. All ears. Meaning, when someone is eager and ready to listen or hear something. Examples. 1. I'm all ears, tell me about your exciting adventure. 2. Whenever grandma starts telling her stories, we're all ears because they're so interesting. 3. If you have any ideas for our project, I'm all ears and willing to listen. Go the extra mile. Meaning, to make an additional effort or do more than what is expected. Examples. 1. She always goes the extra mile to help her friends with their problems. 2. If you want to succeed in school, it's important to go the extra mile and study regularly. 3. At work, going the extra mile can lead to promotions and recognition. Spill the beans. Meaning, to accidentally or intentionally reveal a secret or confidential information. Examples. 1. I promised not to tell, but I accidentally spilled the beans about the surprise party. 
Two, he tried to keep it a secret, but eventually, he spilled the beans about the new project. Three, don't worry, I won't spill the beans about your crush. Break the ice. Meaning, to start a conversation or a social interaction in a friendly or relaxed way, especially in a new or uncomfortable situation. Examples 1. At a party, telling a funny joke can help break the ice and make people feel comfortable. 2. When you meet new classmates, it's a good idea to ask simple questions to break the ice. 3. In an interview, sharing a personal anecdote can break the ice and create a positive atmosphere. Keep an eye on. Meaning, to watch or monitor something or someone closely. Examples 1. Can you keep an eye on my backpack while I use the restroom? 2. Parents often keep an eye on their children to make sure they're safe. 3. The security guard keeps an eye on the building to prevent unauthorized access. Piece of advice. Meaning, a helpful suggestion or recommendation. Examples 1. Here's a piece of advice, always be kind to others, and you'll make friends easily. 2. My mom gave me a piece of advice for doing well in school, study a little every day. 3. If you need a piece of advice on gardening, ask grandma, she's an expert. Couch potato. Meaning, a humorous way to describe someone who spends a lot of time sitting and watching television. Examples. 1. My brother is such a couch potato, he can watch TV all day without getting tired. 2. I used to be a couch potato, but now I prefer going outside to play. 3. Being a couch potato is okay sometimes, but it's important to stay active. Hit the road. Meaning, to begin a journey or leave a place. Examples. 1. It's time to hit the road and start our family vacation. 2. After the party, everyone said their goodbyes and hit the road. 3. When the sun rises, the travelers hit the road to explore new places. Give someone a hand. Meaning, to help or assist someone. Examples. 1. I can't reach that high shelf, can you give me a hand? 2. She's struggling with her heavy bags, let's give her a hand. 3. If you need help with your homework, don't hesitate to ask for a hand. Catch some Z's. Meaning, to go to sleep or take a nap. Examples. 1. I'm really tired, I need to catch some Z's before the big game. 2. After a long day at the beach, I love to lie down and catch some Z's. 3. If you want to feel refreshed, try to catch some Z's in the afternoon. Break a sweat. Meaning, to engage in physical activity or exercise that makes you perspire, sweat. Examples. 1. To stay healthy, it's important to break a sweat regularly by going for a run or playing sports. 2. I like to break a sweat by dancing to my favorite songs in my room. 3. After a long hike, I always feel accomplished because I've broken a sweat. Beat around the bush. Meaning, to avoid directly addressing a topic or question and instead talk vaguely or indirectly. Examples 1. Instead of answering my question, he kept beating around the bush and talking about unrelated things. 2. Don't beat around the bush, just tell me what you think about the idea. 3. She didn't want to hurt my feelings, so she beat around the bush when giving feedback. Drop the ball. Meaning, to make a mistake or fail to do something correctly, especially when you were responsible for it. Examples. 1. I dropped the ball on my school project, I forgot to turn it in on time. 2. The team dropped the ball in the final minutes of the game, and they lost. 3. I'm sorry I dropped the ball on your birthday, I forgot to buy you a present. Under the weather. Meaning, to feel unwell or not in the best physical condition, usually due to illness or fatigue. Examples. 
1. I won't be at school today, I'm feeling under the weather with a bad cold. 2. She's been working long hours and is under the weather, she needs some rest. 3. If you're under the weather, it's a good idea to stay home and recover. Get the ball rolling. Meaning, to start or initiate a process or activity. Examples 1. Let's get the ball rolling on our group project by brainstorming ideas. 2. To organize the charity event, we need to get the ball rolling by finding sponsors. 3. Getting the ball rolling on your homework early helps you avoid last-minute stress. A penny for your thoughts. Meaning, a friendly way to ask someone what they are thinking or feeling, often used when someone seems lost in thought. Examples 1. You've been quiet, a penny for your thoughts. 2. She looked deep in thought, so I asked, a penny for your thoughts. 3. Whenever I see you staring out the window, I wonder, a penny for your thoughts. On the same page. Meaning, to be in agreement or have the same understanding about something. Examples 1. We need to make sure everyone on the team is on the same page about our goals. 2. Before signing the contract, we should meet to ensure we're on the same page. 3. Couples often attend counseling to make sure they're on the same page in their relationship. Get the hang of it. Meaning, to become skilled or proficient at something through practice or experience. Examples 1. Learning to ride a bike can be tricky at first, but you'll get the hang of it with practice. 2. At first, playing the piano seemed hard, but now I've got the hang of it. 3. Don't worry, you'll get the hang of math problems with more practice. Call it a day. Meaning, to decide to finish work or an activity for the day and stop what you were doing. Examples 1. We've worked on this project for hours, let's call it a day and continue tomorrow. 2. After cleaning the whole house, it's time to call it a day and relax. 3. I've been practicing my guitar all evening, now, I'll call it a day and rest. Don't cry over spilled milk. Meaning, to advise not to worry or be upset about something that has already happened and cannot be changed. Examples 1. I accidentally broke my toy, but mom told me not to cry over spilled milk, we can fix it. 2. You missed the bus, but don't cry over spilled milk, we can find another way to get there. 3. I forgot my lunch, but my friend said, don't cry over spilled milk, you can share mine. Get off someone's back. Meaning, to stop bothering or nagging someone about something. Examples 1. I know I need to clean my room, you don't have to keep getting off my back about it. 2. She's always on my back about finishing my vegetables before dessert. 3. Please get off my back, I'll do my homework as soon as I'm done playing. In a nutshell. Meaning, to describe something briefly or summarize it in a few words. Examples 1. Can you explain the movie's plot in a nutshell? I don't have much time. 2. In a nutshell, the problem is that we're running out of time to finish the project. 3. To put it in a nutshell, the concert was amazing, and the food was delicious. Cut corners. Meaning, to take shortcuts or skip necessary steps to save time or effort, often at the expense of quality. Examples. 1. If you cut corners on your school project, it won't turn out as good as it could be. 2. The chef never cuts corners in the kitchen, that's why the food is so delicious. 3. Some people cut corners by not studying for exams, but it's not a good idea. The ball is in your court. Meaning, it's your turn or responsibility to take action or make a decision. Examples 1. I've done my part of the group project, now, the ball is in your court to finish it. 2. After the job interview, they said, the ball is in your court, we'll wait for your decision. 3. 
you've been given all the information to make a choice, now, the ball is in your court. Let the cat out of the bag. Meaning, to accidentally or intentionally reveal a secret or confidential information. Examples 1. I didn't mean to let the cat out of the bag, but I told her about the surprise party. 2. He let the cat out of the bag by sharing the company's future plans with everyone. 3. We were trying to keep the gift a secret, but someone let the cat out of the bag. Burn the midnight oil. Meaning, to stay up very late at night working or studying. Examples 1. During exam week, I had to burn the midnight oil to finish all my assignments. 2. She's burning the midnight oil to prepare for her big presentation tomorrow. 3. I saw your light on late at night, are you burning the midnight oil again? Keep it under your hat. Meaning, to keep something a secret or not share it with others. Examples 1. I'll tell you a secret but you have to promise to keep it under your hat. 2. It's important to keep it under your hat that we're planning a surprise for mom's birthday. 3. He trusted me to keep it under my hat that he's changing jobs. Beat the clock. Meaning, to complete a task or achieve a goal before a specific deadline or time runs out. Examples. 1. I had to beat the clock to finish my homework before bedtime. 2. The chef had to beat the clock to prepare dinner for the big event. 3. We worked hard to beat the clock and submit our project on time. Break a leg. Different usage from the previous break a leg. Meaning, to wish someone good luck, especially before a performance or event. Examples 1. Before the big dance recital, everyone told her to break a leg. 2. When your friend is about to give a speech, you can say, break a leg up there. 3. Break a leg at your piano recital, you're going to do great. Play it by ear. Meaning, to decide or act according to the circumstances as they unfold, rather than following a fixed plan. Examples 1. We don't have a set schedule for the day, let's just play it by ear and see where we end up. 2. I don't know when I'll finish work, so I'll play it by ear for dinner plans. 3. When traveling, it's sometimes fun to play it by ear and explore without a strict itinerary. When pigs fly. Meaning, used to express extreme skepticism or doubt about something ever happening because it's highly unlikely or impossible. Examples. 1. You think I'll finish all my vegetables? Well, I'll eat them when pigs fly. 2. I'll lend you my video game when pigs fly, but you have to promise to return it. 3. She said she'd clean her room when pigs fly, but we know that's not happening soon. Butter someone up. Meaning, to be overly nice or complimentary to someone, often to gain favor or influence them. Examples 1. He's trying to butter up the teacher by complimenting her so she'll give him extra time for the assignment. 2. She buttered up her boss with praise to get a raise at work. 3. You're not going to get what you want by buttering me up with compliments. Head over heels. Meaning, to be deeply in love or infatuated with someone. Examples 1. Ever since they met, he's been head over heels in love with her. 2. She's head over heels for the lead singer of the band, she can't stop talking about him. 3. I've never seen anyone so head over heels for a new puppy as she is. Break the ice. Different usage from the previous break the ice. Meaning, to do something to make people feel comfortable and start a conversation or social interaction in a new or awkward situation. Examples. 1. He told a funny joke to break the ice at the party and get everyone laughing. 2. During the first day of school, the teacher played a game to break the ice and help students get to know each other. 3. When meeting new people, it's a good idea to break the ice with a friendly greeting. 
hit the books. Meaning, to start studying or begin reading, especially with a focused and serious attitude. Examples 1. I need to hit the books for my upcoming exams, there's a lot to learn. 2. She's hitting the books at the library to prepare for her history test. 3. Instead of watching TV, it's time to hit the books and finish your homework. Piece of the pie. Meaning, a share or portion of something, often referring to a part of a profit, reward, or responsibility. Examples. 1. Each team member gets a piece of the pie when the project is successful. 2. He worked hard for his promotion and now enjoys a bigger piece of the pie at the company. 3. In a group project, everyone should contribute to earn their piece of the pie. In the same boat. Meaning, in a similar situation or facing the same challenges as someone else. Examples. 1. We're all in the same boat when it comes to dealing with this tough math assignment. 2. During the storm, we were all in the same boat, hoping for the rain to stop. 3. If you're struggling with your studies, remember, we're in the same boat, and we can help each other. Barking up the wrong tree. Meaning, to pursue the wrong person, idea, or course of action, resulting in a dead end or failure. Examples. 1. If you're looking for your missing toy in the kitchen, you're barking up the wrong tree, it's in your room. 2. He accused the wrong person of taking his lunch, he's barking up the wrong tree. 3. When solving the mystery, they were barking up the wrong tree until they found the real clue. A dime a dozen. Meaning, something that is very common or easy to find, and therefore not very valuable or special. Examples. 1. In this neighborhood, fast food restaurants are a dime a dozen, you can find them everywhere. 2. Those collectible toys used to be rare, but now they're a dime a dozen. 3. People who can play the guitar are a dime a dozen in our school, it's a popular hobby. Jump on the bandwagon. Meaning, to join or support a popular trend or activity because it's fashionable or widely accepted. Examples 1. When everyone started wearing those sneakers, he decided to jump on the bandwagon and get a pair. 2. She jumped on the bandwagon of the new diet trend because all her friends were doing it. 3. Companies often jump on the bandwagon by promoting eco-friendly products when it's trendy. Two peas in a pod. Meaning, used to describe two people who are very similar in behavior, appearance, or interests. Examples. 1. They're like two peas in a pod, they both love hiking and even dress the same way. 2. The twins are two peas in a pod, you can hardly tell them apart. 3. We get along so well because we're like two peas in a pod, always thinking the same way. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. Meaning, advising someone not to make plans or expect something positive to happen until it's certain or completed. Examples 1. I know you're excited about the game, but don't count your chickens before they hatch, anything can happen. 2. She wanted to start celebrating her promotion, but her friend reminded her not to count her chickens before they hatch. 3. We should wait for the test results before planning our trip, let's not count our chickens before they hatch. It's a piece of the action. Meaning, to have a share or involvement in a particular situation or opportunity. Examples 1. He wanted to be part of the project because he didn't want to miss out on a piece of the action. 2. Joining the club means you'll have a piece of the action and get to plan fun events. 3. Investors are excited to get a piece of the action in the growing technology company. Face the music. Meaning, to confront the consequences, often negative, of one's actions or decisions. Examples. 1. I knew I had to face the music after forgetting my friend's birthday, I apologized and made it up to them. 2. When you make a mistake, 
it's important to face the music and take responsibility. 3. She couldn't avoid facing the music when her boss asked about the missed deadline. Break the bank. Meaning, to spend a large amount of money, often more than one can afford. Examples. 1. I'd love to buy that new video game, but it would break the bank. 2. Going on a luxury vacation might break the bank, so we're considering other options. 3. Be careful not to break the bank on unnecessary expenses, save some money for emergencies. Up in the air. Meaning, uncertain, undecided, or not yet resolved. Examples. 1. The date for the school trip is still up in the air, we haven't finalized it yet. 2. Our vacation plans are up in the air because we can't decide on the destination. 3. The project's success is up in the air until we see the final results. Keep your fingers crossed. Meaning, to hope for good luck or success in a situation. Examples 1. I have a job interview tomorrow, please keep your fingers crossed for me. 2. She's taking a difficult test today, let's keep our fingers crossed that she does well. 3. Keep your fingers crossed that the weather stays nice for our outdoor picnic. Read between the lines. Meaning, to understand a deeper or hidden meaning in something that is said or written, often when it's not explicitly stated. Examples. 1. Her smile disappeared when she talked about the party, I had to read between the lines to see that she was upset. 2. In the story, the author leaves clues for readers to read between the lines and discover the mystery. 3. When he said he was fine, I knew I had to read between the lines and ask if anything was bothering him. Cry over spilt milk. Different usage from the previous, don't cry over spilled milk. Meaning, to be upset or complain about something that has already happened and cannot be changed. Examples 1. I know the cake fell, but there's no use crying over spilled milk, let's clean it up. 2. She missed the bus, but she decided not to cry over spilled milk and found another way to school. 3. We made a mistake, but there's no point in crying over spilled milk, let's fix it and move on in the same ballpark. Meaning, to be in a similar range or category, often used to describe something as close or comparable. Examples 1. Our estimates for the cost of the project are in the same ballpark as the client's budget. 2. His guess about the number of jelly beans in the jar was in the same ballpark as mine. 3. Your answer is not exactly right, but it's in the same ballpark so you're on the right track. Behind the times. Meaning, to be outdated or not up to date with the latest trends, technologies, or information. Examples. 1. He still uses a flip phone, he's really behind the times when it comes to technology. 2. Their fashion choices seem to be stuck in the 80s, they're behind the times. 3. Our old computer is really behind the times, it can't run modern software. Hit the hay. Meaning, to go to bed or sleep. Examples. 1. I'm tired after a long day, it's time to hit the hay. 2. Kids should hit the hay early so they can be well rested for school. 3. After the late night party, I can't wait to hit the hay and get some sleep go with the flow. Meaning, to adapt to a situation or accept things as they come, without resisting or trying to control everything. Examples. 1. I used to stress about every little detail, but now I just go with the flow and enjoy life. 2. When traveling, it's best to go with the flow and embrace new experiences. 3. Instead of worrying about the changes at work, she decided to go with the flow and see how things unfold. Stick to your guns. Meaning, to firmly hold on to one's beliefs, decisions, or opinions, especially in the face of opposition or pressure to change. Examples 
One, even when others disagreed, she stuck to her guns and continued to advocate for her idea. Two, he's sticking to his guns about not eating meat, even though his friends keep offering it to him. Three, stick to your guns and don't let anyone convince you to do something you're not comfortable with. Take it with a grain of salt. Meaning, to be skeptical about information or advice and not take it too seriously or literally. Examples 1. I heard that rumor, but I'm taking it with a grain of salt until I see some evidence. 2. He gave me advice on investing, but I'll take it with a grain of salt since I'm not an expert. 3. People's opinions about movies can vary, so I take their recommendations with a grain of salt. Let the cat out of the bag. Different usage from a previous entry. Meaning, to reveal a secret or confidential information, often unintentionally. Examples 1. I didn't mean to let the cat out of the bag, but I accidentally mentioned the surprise party. 2. She let the cat out of the bag about the surprise guest before the event. 3. We had planned to announce the news at dinner, but someone let the cat out of the bag early. Shoot the breeze. Meaning, to engage in casual or idle conversation, often about unimportant or light-hearted topics. Examples 1. We sat on the porch, shooting the breeze about our favorite movies and hobbies. 2. Instead of working, they spent the afternoon shooting the breeze at the coffee shop. 3. After a busy day, it's nice to relax with friends and shoot the breeze. Keep your shirt on. Meaning, to advise someone to remain calm, patient, or not get upset about something. Examples 1. I know you're excited, but keep your shirt on, the concert starts in an hour. 2. When someone was upset about a mistake, I told them to keep their shirt on and that we could fix it. 3. Keep your shirt on, the line at the amusement park will move faster than you think. Play it cool. Meaning, to act calmly and composed, especially in a situation where one might feel nervous or anxious. Examples 1. When you meet new people, it's best to play it cool and be yourself. 2. Even though he was excited about the job interview, he tried to play it cool and not appear too eager. 3. She played it cool during the game, even though her team was losing. Give it a shot. Meaning, to try something or give something a chance, often when you're uncertain about the outcome. Examples 1. I've never played chess before, but I'll give it a shot and see if I like it. 2. You might not succeed on your first attempt, but it's worth giving it a shot. 3. Don't be afraid to give it a shot, you never know what you can achieve until you try. Go the extra mile. Different usage from a previous entry. Meaning, to make an additional effort or do more than what is expected. Examples 1. She always goes the extra mile to help her friends with their problems. 2. If you want to succeed in school, it's important to go the extra mile and study regularly. 3. At work, going the extra mile can lead to promotions and recognition. On top of the world. Meaning, to feel extremely happy or elated. Examples 1. After receiving the scholarship, she felt on top of the world. 2. Winning the championship made the team feel on top of the world. 3. When he proposed, she was on top of the world, filled with joy. Burn the midnight oil. Different usage from a previous entry. Meaning, to stay up very late at night working or studying. Examples 1. During exam week, I had to burn the midnight oil to finish all my assignments. 2. She's burning the midnight oil to prepare for her big presentation tomorrow. 3. If you want to meet the deadline, you might have to burn the midnight oil. Behind closed doors. Meaning, privately or in secret, away from public view. Examples 
1. They discuss their plans behind closed doors to keep them confidential. 2. Behind closed doors, they resolve their differences and reached a compromise. 3. What happens behind closed doors in their relationship is their business. Take a rain check. Meaning, to decline an offer or invitation for the moment but express the intention to accept it later. Examples 1. I can't make it to the movie tonight, but can I take a rain check and join you next time? 2. He offered to buy me coffee, but I had to take a rain check because I was running late. 3. I appreciate the dinner invitation, but I'll have to take a rain check, I'm swamped with work right now. Cry wolf. Meaning, to raise a false alarm or give a false warning, making it difficult for others to trust future alerts. Examples. 1. He cried wolf so many times about being sick that no one believed him when he actually got sick. 2. The false fire alarm made the students cry wolf too often, and they didn't evacuate when there was a real fire. 3. She's known for crying wolf about minor issues, which has made it hard for her friends to take her seriously. Hold your horses. Meaning, to advise someone to be patient or wait before taking action. Examples. 1. I know you're excited to open your presents, but hold your horses until everyone is ready. 2. Before making a decision, it's wise to hold your horses and think it through. 3. Hold your horses, we can't leave until everyone has their seatbelts on. Raining cats and dogs. Meaning, to describe very heavy rain, often used when it's raining heavily. Examples. 1. We had to postpone the picnic because it started raining cats and dogs. 2. I got soaked walking home, it was raining cats and dogs. 3. Bring an umbrella, the weather report says it will be raining cats and dogs later. Catch someone red-handed. Meaning, to catch someone in the act of doing something wrong or illegal. Examples. 1. The police caught the thief red-handed as he was trying to break into the house. 2. She was caught red-handed cheating on the test, there was no denying it. 3. He was caught red-handed taking cookies from the jar. A penny for your thoughts. Meaning, a polite way to ask someone what they are thinking or feeling. Examples. 1. You've been quiet all day, a penny for your thoughts. 2. She looked lost in thought, so I asked, a penny for your thoughts. 3. When he seemed deep in thought, his friend joked, a penny for your thoughts, buddy. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. Different usage from a previous entry. Meaning, advising someone not to make plans or expect something positive to happen until it's certain or completed. Examples. 1. I know you're excited about the game, but don't count your chickens before they hatch, anything can happen. 2. She wanted to start celebrating her promotion, but her friend reminded her not to count her chickens before they hatch. 3. We should wait for the test results before planning our trip, let's not count our chickens before they hatch. Jump the gun. Meaning, to act prematurely or do something too soon, often before the appropriate time. Examples 1. He jumped the gun and announced the project before it was officially approved. 2. I think I may have jumped the gun by ordering food for the party before checking if everyone was coming. 3. She jumped the gun and told her friend's secret before getting permission to share it. Paint the town red. Meaning, to go out and have a great time, often involving a night of partying and celebration. Examples 1. We're going to paint the town red for her birthday with dinner, dancing, and drinks. 2. After their big win, the team decided to paint the town red to celebrate. 3. It's Friday night, and we're ready to paint the town red with our friends. Sleep like a log. Meaning, to sleep very soundly and deeply. Examples 1. After the long hike, 
I slept like a log all night. 2. The baby finally stopped crying and is sleeping like a log now. 3. With the comfortable bed, I always sleep like a log when I stay at that hotel. Put all your eggs in one basket. Meaning, to invest all your resources, time, or effort into one thing or option, which can be risky if it doesn't work out. Examples 1. Instead of putting all your eggs in one basket, it's better to diversify your investments. 2. She put all her eggs in one basket by relying solely on one job, and when she lost it, she had no income. 3. The coach advised the team not to put all their eggs in one basket by focusing on just one opponent. Donkey's years. Meaning, referring to a very long time, often used to describe something that hasn't happened in a while. Examples. 1. I haven't seen her in donkey's years, we used to be best friends in elementary school. 2. He's been working at the same company for donkey's years, he must really like it there. 3. I wore that old jacket to the party, I've had it for donkey's years. Beat around the bush. Meaning, to avoid addressing a topic directly and instead speak vaguely or indirectly. Examples. 1. Stop beating around the bush and tell me what's really bothering you. 2. Instead of answering the question, he kept beating around the bush with unrelated information. 3. I asked for a simple answer, but he continued to beat around the bush, making it confusing. Two-faced. Meaning, describing someone who is insincere or acts differently with different people, often showing a different face to different individuals. Examples. 1. I thought she was my friend, but it turns out she's two-faced, she talks about me behind my back. 2. He's nice to your face but he's two-faced, he spreads rumors about you when you're not around. 3. You can't trust him, he's incredibly two-faced and will say anything to gain favor. Up in arms. Meaning, to be very angry, upset, or agitated about a situation or issue. Examples. 1. The community was up in arms when they heard about the proposed construction project. 2. She was up in arms when she found out her personal information had been leaked. 3. The employees were up in arms about the sudden pay cut, and they demanded an explanation. Break a sweat. Meaning, to engage in physical activity or exercise that causes you to perspire. Examples. 1. To stay healthy, it's important to break a sweat through regular exercise. 2. He decided to break a sweat by going for a run in the park. 3. If you want to lose weight, you'll need to break a sweat during your workouts. Back to the drawing board. Meaning, to start over or go back to the beginning of a plan or project because the current approach isn't working. Examples. 1. Our marketing campaign didn't succeed, so it's back to the drawing board to come up with a new strategy. Two. The first draft of the report was full of errors, we'll have to go back to the drawing board and revise it. 3. They tried to build the website themselves, but it didn't turn out as they wanted, so it's back to the drawing board. Butterflies in your stomach. Meaning, to feel nervous or anxious, especially before an important event or when facing something new or unfamiliar. Examples. 1. Before the big presentation, I always get butterflies in my stomach. 2. It's natural to have butterflies in your stomach before a job interview. 3. Even though it's just a school play, she gets butterflies in her stomach before going on stage. Nose to the grindstone. Meaning, to work hard and diligently, often with a strong focus on tasks and responsibilities. Examples. 1. He's been putting his nose to the grindstone to meet the project deadline. 2. To succeed in her career, she keeps her nose to the grindstone and works long hours. 3. With exams approaching, students need to put their noses to the grindstone and study. Cross that bridge when you come to it.
meaning, advising someone not to worry about future problems or challenges but to deal with them when they arise. Examples 1. Don't stress about the difficult questions on the test, cross that bridge when you come to it. 2. We'll figure out the travel arrangements later, let's cross that bridge when we come to it. 3. Instead of worrying about retirement, focus on your current goals, and cross that bridge when you come to it. Please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notifications of our latest videos and also comment. For more video like this please check out the playlist on end screen. Thanks for watching.